Hi everyone, it's Sarah here, and today we'll be I'll be talking about what I've been doing for the last couple of days and how I've been decorating um, my Animal Crossing island. Uh, I know it's been a couple of days since I last posted. So while I was decorating my island, I realized just like how much work uh, goes into it. Just flattening the island took like several weeks, just, you know, terraforming and redecorating and just adding everything just took such a long time. I'm like 85% done with my island. Um, I just need to do a couple of terraforming and redecorating and I'll be uh, uploading the final um, video of my completed island. Yeah, so for now, I redid my entrance. So it has like a Japanese um, rural countryside kind of vibe. Um, but at the same time, I played around with more like river patterns and adding more waterfalls and ponds. I kind of put all my villagers into like one area at the back. Um, it's, it, it, I'm not 100% happy with it because it kind of looks like everyone has the same um, like house uh, and the layout, but it, by doing that, it like freed me a lot of space on my island that I could add like other types of areas like my own sun area, my lookout area, you know, that having a whole like zen rock garden area, which I'm also working on at the moment. Um, I have more space for my museum and uh, my house. Yeah, so I've been just decorating my island for a while. Um, I've also been dabbling in going to some treasure islands, uh, which I found on some Twitch uh, videos. I've been trying to collect loads of pagodas because Gulliver seems to like rarely come to my island or maybe I just play when he's not on my island. But yeah, so I've been collecting pagodas and bamboo related items and I'm kind of I did have initial plan for my island in the beginning, but I kind of sidetracked a bit. Um, so my island doesn't look exactly as I have planned, but it looks it looks pretty okay. At least it looks a little bit better than my uh, first island, uh, which didn't really have a unified theme. And I also used a bunch of DIY code, uh, designer codes. Well, yeah, I've been using a bunch of these codes um, that work really well with my island's theme. I use like two types of rock paths um, and I'll be using some like wavy pattern for my uh, Zen rock garden in the future. I also used the outline for my um, stone paths, which I felt like the edges didn't look as nice. So by having like an outline, it kind of looks like a complete street. Yeah, so during my whole terraforming process, I've had, I think like all my villagers wanted to leave the island, <laughs> um, but I asked them to stay, of course. Maybe in the future, when my island is done, I'll consider changing up my villagers. I think I've had Tangy since I basically just had Animal Crossing. I think she was like one of my first villagers that I had or my like second round of villagers. Um, so she's been around for like quite a while now. And I didn't know how just where to start like decorating because there was so much to do. And I've been referencing a lot of great um, reference photos from like Pinterest and you know other uh, gamers on YouTube and Twitch and also like going to some dream islands really helped a lot and do i want to re-flatten or restart my island probably not for the time being just because i have experienced 
how long it takes basically to do everything from scratch and it was a pain but my island does look nice so i guess i don't regret it so yeah so stay tuned for my upcoming finished uh, animal crossing island tour and i'll see you guys in the next video bye